The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good morning, everyone. Here's a live look out at Withville, courtesy of our Bowling Wilson Hotel Skycam. You can see that things are pretty cloudy out there. There is a lot of moisture within the air, so we're still going to be muggy out there this morning. Temperatures across parts of the New River Valley are right around the low to mid 60s, and we get a little bit warmer as you head east. We're at about 67 here in Roanoke and about 68 into parts of the Hill City and parts of the south side. Continuing to deal with some of that ground clutter out there just because there's a little bit of patchy fog uh, that's being picked up on radar this morning, but we're also tracking some isolated to scattered showers building through parts of Halifax County right now. You guys have been dealing with this for about the past two hours and you'll continue to deal uh, with this for the next two to three hours because there's not too much of a flow that's going to be pushing these showers and storms out of your region. Halifax, you guys are dealing with uh, some of that rain as well at this time. So just uh, be mindful of that as you head out the door. You're going to need the raincoat and the rain gear handy throughout the rest of the morning areas and south side. Once we get to about the middle of the day, we're actually going to turn a little bit partly cloudy. You might see a little bit of sunshine. And then once we get to about 1, 2 o'clock, that's when we see these isolated pop-up popcorn like uh, showers that get going. And then once we get to about 4, 5 o'clock, we could start to see some storms get going primarily in parts of the Highlands and then track towards the south ever so slowly throughout the middle of this evening. And then eventually into the night, we'll start to clear up. Notice skies go from mostly cloudy to partly cloudy in parts of West Virginia. That is a sign of what is to come as we head into our Friday. Out the door this morning, going to need the rain gear across all of our zones this morning just because uh, if you're not going to make it back home before the afternoon, you might get caught up in one of those stray showers. So just have the umbrella handy. We're also going to be dealing with a light mist and drizzle across parts of our region uh, throughout the rest of the morning. Notice mostly cloudy skies, temperatures staying in the mid 60s. And then eventually this afternoon, we'll get right up to the mid to upper 70s. The south side in the Highlands get to 79. The Roanoke Valley will be anywhere from about 76 to 78 degrees. The same can be said for Lynchburg. And then the New River Valley will be the cool spot on the map this afternoon. Now today, low pressure continues to build off the coast, but again, our winds are going to be shifting out of the north, so aiding in some more moisture uh, to parts of the region. But then low pressure eventually starts to drift off towards the north, and then high pressure starts to sneak in there from the west. So that's what we're tracking as we head into the weekend, a slight change in our humidity. So we'll go from this really, really muggy and tropical feel to a more tolerable feel for both Saturday and Sunday as skies try their best to clear. We're also tracking the tropics out there. This area is given a 0% chance of developing within the next two days, but a 40% chance of developing within the next week. And the reason being is because the American model or the GFS is picking up on a tropical system that gets developed as early as next Tuesday into Wednesday. You can see here really, really tight contours of pressure that are going to be building across into the Gulf Coast uh, area over the course of next week. As for us, the first official day of fall is Sunday. So temperatures as we head into the weekend are going to be a little bit above average 84 and 85.